This is part four of a four-part series on searching an academic database for journal articles. Here we will look at the record for two articles and see how we can obtain the full text for the articles. Now let's look at two results briefly, number two and number four. I'll scroll down to number two, Kalido, a board game for nutrition education of children and adolescents at school. I'm going to click on that link. The center of the results page has citation details and information relevant to the content, such as subjects assigned to it, and an abstract. So if I scroll down, I see authors. I see under source the name of the journal, subject terms that are associated with this. And I scroll down a little bit more, and I can see the abstract. Notice that the search terms are in bold text. The left side of the page has access information. So in this case, there's a PDF full text link. So if I click on that, I'll be able to download the PDF and save it. And then on the right side, there's a number of tools. Ones I want to point out are that you can get the citation by clicking the site link, and you can scroll to whatever you need. So there's APA if that's what I need. And there's something called permalink. So if you're going to link to this article or send it to somebody via a link, you want to use the permalink, which is here. You don't want to use the regular URL up in the browser window up there. Stick with the permalink. And of course, you could email this by clicking on the email and send this to yourself or somebody. So let's go back to the results, and I'm going to scroll down to number four. The role of behavioral feedback in nutrition education for enhancing nutrition knowledge and improving nutritional behavior among adolescents. Uh, again, I click on that link, and it looks pretty similar. All the information about the article is in the center. You can scroll down. There's the abstract at the bottom. The tools are the same on the right-hand side. What's different here is that instead of a PDF on the left-hand side, it says Check Journal Finder for full text. So it's going to look outside of Academic Search Premier for this article. So it's going to look in other databases. It'll look to see if the library has a subscription to the actual journal. And if it doesn't find it anywhere, it's, it's going to provide options to get it in interlibrary loan or perhaps the tool called Get It Now. So I'm clicking on that link. And here's the results page. Keep in mind that depending on what it finds, the results page may look different. It says here that it found 28 titles that begin with Asia Pacific Journal. So I think in this case, it might be the easiest thing to do would be to request the article through interlibrary loan. But before I do that, I want to do something else. I'm going to see if I can find it on Google. So I'm going to open up another browser window, and I'm just going to paste it in the title of the article and search on Google. And I find it in PubMed. So that link right here, I click on this. Here it is in PubMed. And over on the right-hand side, it has a link. It says Full Text Links. I'm clicking on that, and you can't see it on the screen, but a PDF was downloaded. So I'm going to open that PDF. I promise it's open. So I have the article, and I didn't have to use interlibrary loan or get it now or anything else. So although I wouldn't suggest searching for articles on Google, that using the database is a better way to go, it is sometimes the case that you might find the article freely available on the Internet. If I had not found the article on the Internet as I did, I would have ordered it through interlibrary loan. So going back to the original Journal Finder page, I would click Request the Article through Interlibrary Loan. This is through a tool called Iliad. You can create a free account here. It doesn't cost you anything to use Interlibrary Loan. If you don't have an account, use first-time users to create one. I'll put in my username and password. And keep in mind that this account is not linked to your Westcon username and password that you use to log in normally to your computers or to the network. So I click on Login. And coming from the database, it'll auto-populate all the information that I need. And when if I scroll down to the bottom, there's a Submit Request link. I do that. And usually within one to three days, I'll get an email. The email will have a link in it. Click on the link. It'll bring you back to Iliad. And when you get in there, go to Electronically Received Articles, and you would see it right there. Usually takes one to three days. So keep in mind that many of our databases work in the same way. They contain a number of resources, some of which have the full text and some that do not. Whenever you find an article for which there is no PDF, you can almost always obtain the article through another source, such as Interlibrary Loan or Get It Now by using Journal Finder. Also keep in mind, if you get to a journal and they ask you to pay whatever amount for access to the article, don't do it. Stop. 
either go back and use interlibrary loan or contact someone at the library and we'll help you get the article. That's all for now. Have a good day.